it is negative, looks like negative 11, maybe negative 12 from outside right now. It's the coldest it's been, well, maybe ever since I've lived here. Okay, so the temperature is negative 12, wind chill is negative 35. Now, the humidity is 59%. That might work against me on this little experiment that I'm gonna try. Okay, so I'm warming up some water. It's getting pretty hot now. Okay, so what I've got is some hot water and some negative 12 degree air temperature outside here. Let's see what happens when I throw the water up into the air. Scrape off some snow off here so I can set the camera down. Okay. Here he goes. Ha ha! That was pretty neat. I want to do that again. That was really cool. So that's pretty neat over there. We've got, I guess the ice crystals in the air are uh, acted like a prism and making a little rainbow around the sun. It is cold out here. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna real quickly go do another, uh, throw another hot glass of hot water in the air. I didn't make it quite as hot this time. Make sure I'm aimed right. just evaporates as soon as it hits the super cold air. Oh, and the uh, sun's got, there's a better one, better little rainbow over there. You almost can see the, sol the full uh, ring around the sun. Man, it is cold out here. <laughs> I have one more experiment that I want to try. It's, I can't quite hardly believe that it's uh, possible, but what I've heard is if you set two glasses of water, one warm and one cold, out into the cold, the one that is warm will freeze faster than the one that's cold. It has to do with density. I'm gonna have to check it out and see if it's actually true, first of all. <clears throat> And then uh, if it is in fact the case, then I'm gonna have to learn why because it doesn't make any sense to me. So first I have to see it to believe it. If it's true, then I'm gonna find out why.